Downhouse is an independent girls boarding school situated just outside Newbury for girls of 11 to 18 and it's 99.9% .9 boarding with a few day boarders attached to it. It's a wonderful community that gives the girls as many opportunities as they possibly can to become themselves. I just got the feeling that sort of everyone, everyone was there for each other and all of the teachers were sort of good with the with the pupils and things. Well, I really like it. I mean, I was in a day school before, but now coming to a boarding school, it's so much better. There's so many more opportunities. Like after school, you don't have to think of going back home and doing all your homework. So it feels more like home, basically. I think there are only two things I'd say for a, for a girl to really flourish at the school. One is that they're comfortable academically. And the second thing is that you can see they're going to really enjoy community living and a busy boarding life. But they'll all do that in different ways, so there won't be one particular character type. And actually we don't want one particular character type, we want a variety of children, but who've all got that sense that they will make the most of those opportunities in whatever way suits them. The whole atmosphere is sort of work and play pretty evenly, that we kind of have a nice balance. It says about 15 mil. You don't have to be. I, I like the way that the teachers are at the school because they make you more independent. So say we're in maths and we're learning about something, you have to kind of interpret it in your own way and find a way so you understand it. So it's better for you to learn. The classroom is one area of learning. We want them to learn from each other. We want them to learn from all the enrichment opportunities, from lectures, from work groups, from discussions. Most of all, I'd love them all to find an area where they become really passionate about some aspect of learning and then take off with that. Um, doesn't matter what it is, but something that really sort of sparks their imagination. But it's to develop a love of learning, not the mechanics of it. I don't think Dan's just academic. It's big on drama and sport and arts. I choose to come here because of the sport. What we aim for is that everybody can participate and those who really want to and, and can, can take it to the highest level. They are motivated to do well in it and the lovely thing is it's right the way through the school. If you're very musical and you're a year six and you're coming to a new school, Joining things like orchestra and junior choral are musical as well as a good opportunity to make friends because there are so many people that do it with you. I love drama, it's one of my favourite subjects. They have like amazing lighting and all the costumes are just fantastic. I'm helping to that shot on this. When I first started I got a tiny bit homesick but then when I'm at home I sort of get school sick. <laughs> I think pastoral care is the most important thing in any community, and particularly in a boarding community. The pastoral care is age appropriate, and the idea is, although they're 11, um, they do like to think they're 21, but actually it's to allow them to grow with confidence in a safe and comfortable environment. It is a good home. The boarding staff are different to teaching staff, which is really important. I mean, they get to know you and if you have issues you can go and talk to them. And the tutor system allows an individual discussion on a daily basis. So again the tutors were there pretty much like their friend, they would perhaps if they had a bad time with a member of staff, the tutor would go in and sort of fight their corner. I see them all individually once or twice a year, which I love doing. But she's so friendly but yet so like respected. Mm. And she's, she's always right, here at school. Like she knows everyone's name. She'll be like, "Hello, Olivia. Hello, Sophia." Like, like, and if it's your birthday, she'll be like, "Happy birthday!" And she sends everyone a birthday card on their birthday. And she knows everyone's names, their characters, their personalities. As a school, you have the children on loan for a period of time, and you're working with the parents. You can't, as a school, ever hope to educate a girl unless you're doing it together. The teachers do keep in touch with parents and vice versa. My mum my always emails my teachers if she has an issue with my work. So the school do ensure that there is a lot of communication. So many extracurricular activities to do that you, you, you're never really bored, ever.
there's so much stuff you can do, and the thing is, you want to do all of them. It's not like I can say, I don't want to do that, because you really want to. We do concentrate on not just what the girls do within our community, but also within the wider community, and we've got quite a big emphasis on the international links and the international community and sending them to France for a term if they come at 12 plus and giving them opportunities to go to the, spend time in schools in the developing world. Every house has a trip available every year to their like respective link schools, so like Sri Lanka or South Africa or Zambia in our case. Um, so yeah, everyone has opportunities available. It just it depends what house you're in and as people we benefit lots because I mean it develops you and you just, we learn a lot yeah. coming back. But also, yeah, it's helping another community out there, and so that can only be good for everyone. Moving into a sixth form house, sort of you get to know people that you didn't know before, and also you get a lot more independence as you go up the school. You can sense a difference between the way the teachers treat you, they see you as an adult. It's a lot more like you're taking part in the discussion, you're adding something to the lesson as well. If it wasn't for the careers department, I would be very lost because they did help me. We have a fantastic library where you can go and even just by yourself and you can sit thinking, right, well, I was thinking of doing medicine. So I went and looked at these books and I decided, oh, that, that course looks really good or should I do something about anthropology or what about being a lawyer? It's quite hard to pick what your talent is and they do help show you what you'll be strong at. Success to us is somebody who has grown in confidence and achieved beyond their own expectations. And that's by far the most important thing. Not only does it have a good reputation, but I think it has helped to shape who I am. And I'm proud of it. What I want for them when they walk out the door is that they're able to say, I know what I'm good at, and I'm really proud of that. I know what I'm not very good at, and I've come to terms with that, because we all have to do that. And I've got the confidence to have a go. Whether they then take those values and they're a fantastic architect or engineer or accountant doesn't matter at all. It's just that they've got the skills to, to cope with what life is going to throw at them. You do kind of leave with a feeling that there isn't anything you can't achieve. I've had so much fun here um, and I've made some really close friends and I suppose I'll never really forget it. Mm -hmm.